Okay, let's try this one, which is the same problem as that last one, except instead of multiplying, we're adding. So it's going to be different significant figures. So remember when you're doing addition of significant figures, um, you have to go to the um, number that has the least amount of significant figures after the decimal point. So in order to do that, you want to effectively find a common uh, multiplier for all of them, okay? So this one has 10 to the 6th, this one has 10 to the 5th, this one has 10 to the 5th, so you probably want to change this one to 10 to the 5th as well, okay? So when you do that, what you get is you're going to move your decimal point over to here, and then that's going to be 10 to the 5th, okay? So in other words, you're going to have 12.3 times 10 to the 5th, okay? So now the easiest way to do this, since they're all at that common 10 to the 5th, is you can do how we did them in class, just add them up relative to their decimal point, okay? So when we do that, we get 12.3, and remember we want to put the decimal point right underneath this uh, first one, 8.35, and 5.39. So all of these are to the common times 10 to the fifth. So we really don't have to worry about that portion of the answer because it's going to be times 10 to the fifth as well. So when we do this, we have to realize that this one only has one behind that decimal. These have two. So the answer is only going to have one behind the decimal. Okay. So 12.3 plus So the three in this doesn't really have to do with these each having three significant figures, that the answer has three significant figures. Does that make sense? Okay, so the answer effectively would be 26.0 times 10. Okay. Are there any questions on that? Again, remember to get them to the common factor. This one's kind of a messed up problem because of that O, so don't I hope it doesn't mess you guys up too.